Welcome to Apogee Pro Tips. In this video, you'll learn the three steps to record and share your voiceover and music recordings using Apogee Meta Recorder plus an Apogee USB mic like Hype Mic or Mic Plus. Apogee Meta Recorder is available as a free download from the Apple App Store. Once you've downloaded the app, tap the icon, swipe through the welcome screens, and connect your Apogee Hype Mic or Mic Plus. When Meta Recorder detects the Apogee mic, you'll see the mic's name displayed above the input meter, plus a message that you've unlocked your first achievement, the unlimited recording feature. Now, you probably don't want your recordings to be interrupted by incoming phone calls, so turn on airplane mode in the iPad's Settings app. Next, let's set up our first scene in Meta Recorder. Tap the Scenes tab to see parameters for Scene 1, the default scene created when you first launch the app. In the center of the view, set sample rate, bit depth, and file format to your desired settings. If you're not sure, you can't go wrong with a 48 kHz sample rate, 24-bit bit depth, and broadcast wave file format. Next, take a moment to customize the scene name and input name to something specific to the project. These names, in addition to take number, creation date, and creation time, are used to automatically name the audio files you create when recording. Tap File Name Format to further customize the automatic naming. For example, you can uncheck Creation Date and Creation Time to make the name shorter, or even reorder the components of the name. Taking a few moments now to enter useful names will save lots of time later when you're organizing a large number of files. Now we're ready to set levels and record. You'll want to be sure to follow these steps in order. On the Apogee mic, set the blend to 50-50 so that the center white LED is on. With this setting, you'll hear both your direct sound and the playback at an equal volume. If you're using a hype mic, choose your compression setting. If you're not sure, start with setting 1. Next, in Meta Recorder, tap the Rec Play tab. Set the recording level by speaking or playing at the proper distance from the mic, then tapping and dragging the white slider button to the right until the input meter reaches the orange indicators. If you see a red overload indicator, reduce the recording level by dragging the slider button to the left. Finally, once you've set the blend level on the microphone and set the recording level in Meta Recorder, use the iPad's volume up and down buttons to set a comfortable listening level. To start recording, simply tap the red Record button. Recording starts immediately, and the audio waveform and take number are displayed. To stop recording, there are two options. One, tap Pause to temporarily suspend recording in the current take, then continue in the same take when recording is restarted. Or, two, tap Stop to close the current take and automatically advance to a new take when recording is restarted. To play back your take, Simply scroll to a take and tap Play. Double tap the Take Waveform to mark it as a favorite. To add keywords, delete the take, share it, or change the name of the take in the Info View. Once you've finished recording, you can share all your scenes and takes easily with just a few taps. First, tap the Scenes tab to see the current scene parameters. Then tap the Scenes button in the upper left-hand corner to see all your scenes. To share scenes, tap Select in the upper right-hand corner, then choose the scenes you want to share. Tap the Share Square in the bottom left-hand corner to choose one of three sharing options. 1. Sync to a Dropbox account. 2. Export via email. or 3. Export to Other. The Export to Other option offers a wide range of sharing choices, including AirDrop, Messages, and saving to the iPad's Files folder. With Apogee Meta Recorder, Mic Plus, and Hype Mic, you've got a powerful tool for quickly recording and sharing your best takes.